With your local and area news, this is Justin Mott. Yesterday, at approximately 3.50 p.m., the Texas Department of Public Safety DPS troopers investigated a two-vehicle crash on State Highway 87 involving a Shelbyville ISD school bus. The preliminary crash investigation indicates that a 2014 international school bus was stopped facing north on State Highway 87 with red lights activated and unloading students. A 2009 Pontiac passenger car was traveling south on 87 and reportedly crested a hill and a attempted to stop but slid into the northbound lane and struck the front of the bus. The driver of the bus was identified as Marla Denby, 54, from Shelbyville. The driver of the Pontiac was identified as Matthew Gamble, age 16, also from Shelbyville. A passenger with Gamble was transported to a center hospital for possible treatment. The crash remains under investigation at this time, and no additional information has been released at this time. The Shelby County Commissioner's Court met on January the 8th at 9.30 a.m. Here are the results for the meeting. Yesterday, they approved the minutes of the December 8th, 11th, 13th, 21st, and 27th meetings. They approved the weekly expenses. They approved the officer's report. No one gave any public comments on the agenda. They discussed and approved the Sheriff's Department to purchase new heaters. They will be replacing three heaters for $49,000. Shelby County Sheriff Willis Blackwell was also in attendance at yesterday's meeting. Tom Wilberg with the TCEQ discussed the installation of four off-site wells for TCEQ. His request was approved. The court considered and took action to approve the resolution for the approval of bringing a suit on behalf of Shelby County, Texas versus various drug manufacturers, developers, suppliers, and others of a class of pharmaceutical drugs known as opioids. The court tabled the discussion about the closure of County Road 3120. No action was taken on Item 9 involving Stephen Shires, District Attorney's request to set up a drug court fund. District Attorney Stephen Shires was approved to have a part-time internship to be paid out of forfeiture funds. No action was taken on Item 11 involving District Attorney Stephen Shires' request to apply for a specialty court grant through the Governor's Office. The District Attorney Stephen Shires was approved to mount televisions in both courtrooms and given $3,700 in funds to purchase and install the new televisions. An executive session was held to discuss courtroom security procedures and assignment of duties as well as personnel and hearing complaints against personnel. They reopened their regular meeting and they discussed the issues discussed in the executive session. Lastly, the court adjourned. And now it's time for your Shelbyville Dragon Report. Hey, welcome back, Chevelle. Hope you're having a great year in the year of 2018. This is Mario Osby, Chevelle High School principal. Hey, this week, our Dragons will be playing Tenney Hall. Uh, game time will start at 5 o'clock. There will be three games, JV Boys, Varsity Girls, and Varsity Boys. Also, on Saturday, our UIL academic team will be competing over at Sherino. Time will start about 8 o'clock that morning. Hope everyone have a great week. We have a bye on Friday for basketball. We'll talk to you again on next Tuesday. Thanks. This has been Justin Mott with your local and area news. CBC-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.